夢にまで見たような世界で争いもなく平和に暮らしたい」Hello everyone, I'm Karu Level 13 and I'm here with the GIMP tutorial to show you basically all the tools and how you should know them for GIMP. It's really sim most of them are really simple, actually. Very simple. So I'm going to pull up my picture, which is Ax Axel. <laughs> Sorry. Leah. <laughs> so I'm going to show you from top to bottom and what they do. And demonstrate it but some you actually might not really have to pay attention to hopefully anyways this one right here it's a rectangular or rectangle select tool is what I call it basically what it does is if you're like cutting stuff off your picture you just make one delete very common very useful YouTube channels people use it to make columns you just put it there Get your bucket, fill in the place. Well, that's not cool. But anyways, you know what I mean. Basically, what it is. He looks freaky. Anyways, um, the eclipse select tool. It's basically the same thing like the rectangular one, just in eclipse form. You can delete. Basically the same thing. I wanted to fill fill it in with the same black tool. Very awesome. This, yeah, I don't use it. It's basically a free-handed select tool thing. Just I messed up on that. Don't take it back. Okay. Basically the same thing. Messed up again because I can't get it on the right thing. There we go. Delete. Basically the same thing like the others. Wand. This is my buddy right here. My wand tool right here. Love it. Click on an area you want and delete. Or fill it in with colors. It's very, very useful. Super useful. Background. Whoops, it's not. Background, delete. How you do it. Um, this is the color select tool. I love this tool because any color that you want, you click on it, you get that color. But the bad thing is, um, every thing that has that color is going to be selected too. See down here, it goes on in different regions. So if you wanted this color gray or this color or if you wanted the background it will delete some of the jacket too so you're gonna have to watch out for that but make sure you get a color and if you want to delete it make sure there's not any other colors um the scissors tool I don't use this either it's like your uh, many uses like it goes to the shape basically outlines it it doesn't really look it, but it does. I messed up on that. But anyways, I don't use it. So I wouldn't be familiar with it or anything. I don't use this either. Foreground. Don't use it. Color in it. Whatever you color in it will erase that. Nothing, I doubt you would need it. Um, I love this little dude right here. If you are sketching, there you go. Outline. And go all around it. It even has curves. See, watch. Curves. Little buddy right here. Curves. And then it does that. And it can like, Anyways, you get my point. Basically what it does, you can drag it wherever you want. Keep on going from there. And then, 
you can either stroke the pad like so. You might want to like bring it down to two and then click on something else other than that. And there you go. It's not really the clean type of dealy. I don't outline on GIMP. I use paint.net to outline. But that is just me. Okay, the color picker. Basically simple. If you want that red on his hair right there, like, there you go. Have the red right there on his hair. Take the paintbrush. Have the same color. That's basically the uses of the color pick tool. Zoom. Guess what happens? Hey, look. I zoomed out. Hey, look. I zoomed in. Very simple. I think you should know it. The measure tool. And measure stuff. <laughs> That's basically all I can say. I don't use this. Usually for 90 degree angles. Acute. Obtuse. Basically all that stuff. I don't use that either. The move tool. Guess what the move tool does? It moves things. It moves them. It's very quite interesting. Um. This one's for layers, like aligning layers. So I'm not going to get into that because I'm going to be making a layers tutorial later on. So I will get into that about it. Um, crop tool. This is my buddy and I use it every time I get on here. You only want axle space. Click, drag. Click in the middle. You have actual space. I didn't really do a good job, but anyway. This is also a good buddy of mine. Rotate tool. You can rotate it. Rotate. Rotate. Ooh. Very useful. Very common. This is also another buddy of mine. Um, this resize tool. The scale tool. You resize it. Very common. You can either make it wider, taller, or you could link them together and just make it bigger or smaller. And it'll stay in the same place just like so. I don't use this one. It's called the shear tool. Basically what it does, it brings it upwards and downwards. So I don't use that. I'm not getting into depth with that. This is like a thing that brings it out. See? It makes them look fun. So I don't use that either. Um, flip tool. Guess what I'm going to do to Axel? I flip them to the other direction. Um, text. Very, very simple. Axel move the text you can make it wider like say you made a little box but you need more in there and it cuts it off see you can't you can't see it so you can move it move it down and you, you get all of it and you can get you can get um, more fonts you can download them on GIMP and also you can download them on DeviantArt, which is where I go. And I go to like fonts, uh, defont.com, I think is what it is. I'll put it in the description if I think about it. But you can also download brushes. Really, really awesome. Okay. Bucket. You know what a bucket is. You know what this does. This fills in whatever region you want with whatever color. So you know that. Gradients. This is basically, I use this for a background, is what I do. I usually use it for background. Um, linear. It's really, really just similar. Like, scroll it. There you go. It's making a cool background. Any which way, down, up, down, down, up, uh, radial, makes it circle, whatever this point is. 